to the President of the United States of America. I want to make this clear, Mr. Biden. I am a son of a World War II veteran, and my uncle served in the United States Marines, and so did my grandfather. I do not like what you're doing to America and bringing war to America's soil, making the gas prices go up, the food prices go up, everything go up, and people can't afford the rent, people can't afford food, people can't afford gas, Mr. President, if we go to war with Russia, China, or any of them countries, and you want to earn my respect as a U.S. leader, and granted, I like Trump. I always like Trump. But you need to get your head out of your ass and you need to lead the United States of America to victory if we go into a World War III. Because it's coming. It's coming. And it's because of all the shit little friggin' mistakes and all the bad shit that you have done. Mr. President, for, for my sakes of me living in the United States of America, I stand up for all American people. We have families, we have veterans, and we have everybody panicking right now to knowing what's going on. Yes, good job. Good job. We knocked that damn balloon out of the sky. But you took way too long to get that shit knocked out. They already got a lot of our information, Mr. President. But if you want to get my respect as a United States citizen, you need to get your head out of your ass and you need to be a real U.S. leader. And when it comes to time to press that red button, you don't need to press the red button on your own people. You need to press that red button that sticks a, a nuke up either China or Russia or anyone's ass. You hear me out, Mr. President. You want to be anything like Trump. And you want to make people proud of you. You need to do it. Get your head out of your ass and do something right. Period. Do something that will shock the world. But I don't know. I think you're weak. I don't think you're like Trump. I don't think you're like DeSantis. I don't think you're like anything. God bless the Americans. God bless our troops.